asked the guy at a yard sale how much he wanted for the, uh, for this. He said, not sure how much my wife wants, but I will sell it to you for 25 cents. <laughs> so you better buy it before she comes back. <laughs> so I bought it for 25 cents and sold it for 95 plus shipping. Awesome. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. You got it. Did you say it before me? And I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it's sold for. Were you guys saying it? I know that you watch me. And if you watch me all the time, you were probably saying it with me or ahead of me. All right. Anyway, just having a little fun there. And let me know in the comments how many of you actually were saying it and were like, why isn't she saying it? She's messing me up here. Um, I know that I have a tendency when I watch something over and over and over again and they say the same things, you start to just kind of say it. <laughs> So let me know if you did that. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Uh, this is my Bolo Buddies members of my Facebook group, Share Their Big Money Bolos. And I posted this, Share Your Best August Bolo, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And everybody was so kind to share their big money bolos with us. This is a great way to learn. I have so many of these. So if you have missed any of them, go watch them because you are going to learn so much. Let's start with the first one. Hi, Courtney. I am a new member. I bought this Levi's 150th anniversary denim jacket at an estate sale for $50. I took an offer of $200. My eBay store is Phyllis88. Thanks for all your tips and advice. I enjoy them. And in the screenshot, it says Fortune 88 comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap and she has a YouTube channel and it will be linked down below. Bolo Buddies members get a pop-up and a link down below with their eBay store and their YouTube channel if they have one. Definitely check out these members. They are a wealth of knowledge. You're going to learn a lot from them. Piece of Scrap does a lot of clothing, shoes, and accessories. So um, that's one thing that you're going to get more of from her channel than mine. So definitely sub her up. Paid $3.75 at the Goodwill. It sold for my full asking price of $45. Shipped on eBay. It is a panhandle slim western shirt, long sleeve large, Aztec cowboy pearl snap men's. And it looks like it was $38.08 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, those western, some of those western shirts can definitely go for big money. Asked the guy at a yard sale how much he wanted for the... Uh, for this. He said, not sure how much my wife wants, but I will sell it to you for 25 cents. <laughs> so you better buy it before she comes back. <laughs> so I bought it for 25 cents and sold it for 95 plus shipping. Awesome. It is a Groudon Pokemon Tommy recall large plush stuffed 20 inch toy doll Kaigre Japan. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Funky Pickle Thrifter. And it says, I got this item at an antique mall. It was either 30 or 40, but I was sure it was a good one. It has the stuff I look for in old jewelry. Unusual, colorful, high quality, whimsical, vintage, great condition, signed by Assessocraft. A great thing to Bolo for. Rare Vintage Assesso Craft 1941 Balloon Man Whimsical Novelty Enamel Brooch Pin, $246.94. If you guys are not following the Funky Pickle Thrifter, you need to get over there, especially if you're into jewelry because she knows a lot about it. She's super knowledgeable. She's a bolo finder and she sells other things too. So her what sold videos are packed with info. What does bolo mean? Well, in case anybody is watching that doesn't know, it means to be on lookout. I always dig around the bottom shelves of the thrift store and found these poodle themed, is it creep or crep? Crep paper? Napkins. Paid 25 cents at the Amvet store and sold in a couple of weeks for $42.93. Dig around the bottom shelves, folks. Mid-century modern crep 
paper, napkins, poodles, theme, lot of 25 from the fifth, from the 1950s. This is what it looks like. Bought at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for 200 plus shipping. It is a vintage Nike 49ers Jerry Rice 1992 Just Do It poster. And this is me zooming in. I literally have my computer in, like enlarged so I can see it better, but that one's really small. So you guys can see it better than me. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nina's Jewels, and they sell a little bit of everything. So you'll definitely learn from their YouTube channel and their eBay store. This um, less than two inch PVC figurine sold for full price of $35. I love these kind of bolos. <laughs> it is going to Brazil through the eBay International Shipping Program. We found it in a storage unit and paid just 28 cents. Look everything up. It is a Disney 1.75 inch pink PVC pig animal action figure home on the range. Ollie, hard to find, excellent use condition. Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds also has an amazing YouTube channel and a great eye for big money bolos. I bought this at a yard sale for 25. That's paying up for me, but I knew it was worth it and it sold within three days for $190. It is a Nikon uh, rifle scope, and here it is. And check out Childhood Finds on both uh, YouTube and eBay. Uh, Piece of Scrap said, that's paying up for me too. Good flip. I'm like, yeah, that's paying up for me too. Listen to all us resellers. Tell me if $25 is paying up for you. I know that it's paying up for me, but if I know that I can flip something for around $200 or even $100, and I'll pay 25 if I know it's a sure thing. But if I don't know it's a sure thing, I'm like, I'm so cheap. I'm so cheap. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. My husband, on the other hand, would be like, that's totally worth $25. I'm in. All right. A good bolo and props to Bradford Hamilton. Otherwise, I might have left this Ethan Allen nightstand sitting on the side of the road. Yes. Someone put this beautiful heirloom Ethan Allen piece out for the trash, but I got it first. After about three months listed at $249, I took a best offer of 200 plus USPS ground shipping, curbside shopping for the win, Jersey Shore Thrifter, and he sold it on eBay, guys. It's an Ethan Allen nightstand, and this is what it looks like. I talked about the freebie alert app before, and this is also Jersey Shore Thrifter. And he is like, most of what he shares, he gets on the side of the road, you guys. He is just a inspiration for many to, I mean, I, I'm not much of a trash picker, but I think he's really smart. I mean, he's out there sourcing for free. And I will tell you, like trash picking and curbside, you know, freebie alerts, they're kind of two different things. When there's a curb alert, those are people that know their items are nice and they put out a curb alert and they let you know that you can come get it for free. And that's what he's talking about right here. But you can also drive around on trash night. But anyway, I have talked about the freebie alert app before, but if you don't know about it, you need this app. It will notify you anytime someone posts a free item in your area. I responded to such an alert last week and scored five of these high-end surround sound speakers for zero dollars because they each had their own set of scuffs, dings, etc. They each got a separate listing. I used the description to note that I had multiples and for buyers to message me if they wanted more than one. Within 48 hours, I got such a message. Buyer wanted four of them. I created a private listing and turned that zero-cost freebie alert into a fast, Less than two days, $319.96 plus shipping sale. Get the app, reveal the cha-ching. <laughs> you gotta love it. Um, so they are M-1 satellite speakers. I bought these Milliflory glass lamp shades at a garage sale for $10 and took an offer of $180 the day after posting them late at night. I believe you pronounce it Milla. Fiore. Mila Fiore. <laughs> you should see this. I love it. They're telling me how to, they're telling me how to say it because I pronounce everything wrong. 
I think it's Millefleur. I thought I think I had it right the first time. Now I'm now I'm questioning myself. Millefiore. I don't know. I don't know. I've sold some uh jewelry on uh whatnot that is Mila for I, I I think about how Donatella if you guys don't know Donatella she has like um she's Italian so when she says some things she like pronounces it a certain way and I'm trying to think of how she says it and it's like Mila for Flore or something <laughs> sorry Donna that was awful that was an awful 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 interpretation you guys go follow Donatella on YouTube it's Donatella Bottolino and it's Donatella on whatnot and she is fantastic and and uh, again, check her out. Even if you don't want to buy, she's so fun to just go hang out in her chat. Same with my whatnot. If you don't want to buy, fine. Just come hang out in the chat. It's super fun. There is a link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join whatnot with that link. I do have my exclusive Bolo Buddies merch, the earrings um, that look like this this is thanksgiving and um halloween bolo buddies earrings these are five dollars each in my whatnot store and here's the regular one these were made by lucky day shop check her out on whatnot also for more great earrings but she made these and i bought them off of her and i am selling them for five dollars each over on my whatnot so they're in the buy it now section if you want to get some bolo buddies merch for five dollars I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's look at these little uh, lampy things. Uh, lamp shades. Vintage Murano Milliflori. Milliflori. I don't know. But uh, bullet style Venetian. I said Venetian right, didn't I? Lamp shades hand blown. One of a kind set. That's what it looks like. And... The next one, I bought this vintage Fran Drescher, Drescher. She played on the 90s TV show, The Nanny. Inspired wool coat at a yard sale for $1. The brand is Herman K and is made in the USA. This brand of coat fetches a pretty penny, apparently. I sold it overnight in a vintage Facebook group for $180. This is what it looks like. So let me know in the comments, how many of you are selling in Facebook groups um, or on Instagram? And how do you guys do with that? I know there's groups out there that are buy and sell walls where you can, um, that are specific, like this is probably vintage clothing. But um, I've never sold on anything like that. Just curious what your success rate is on that. I bought this antique watch at a churchyard sale, put it on auction and took a best offer of 260 the next day. It went to Japan. It was from 1905 in Goldfield. The watch needed repairs and would stop and start working. Paid a dollar for it. It is a 1905 Illinois grade 184 Illinois antique pocket watch, grade 184. 17 jewel runs, and this is what it looks like. Let's do a couple more here. I got this at a garage sale about a year ago. It was in the free box. It sold on August 3rd for full price of 89 plus shipping. I also received 59, a 59 offer minutes before. It always had a lot of watchers, but no real activity. It is lightweight, didn't take up much space, so I sat on it for a year. Timing is everything. I will agree, yes. If you've got the room to be patient, be patient because, uh, Sometimes it just takes the right buyer. Rare Barbie fashion model collection, 16 month, 2011 calendar, Robert, Robert Best graphique. I'm not sure what it is, but that's what it looks like. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents, put it in a lot and listed on auction and it sold for $460. Many questions asked about Werewolf 32. So that is what the Bolo is. Okay. So she paid 25 cents and it's a vintage comic book, lot of 10, X-Men, Hulk, and more. So I'm guessing she probably didn't know what she had based on what she's saying here. This is how she listed it. She was getting questions about this particular booklet or comic. So this is the one that probably drived up the price is how I'm reading it. And the whole bundle sold for $460 and she paid 25 cents. You got to love it, right? This month, I had my highest sale and biggest flip ever. I found a Magnolia pearl dress at the Goodwill Benz. I paid less than $2 
and it sold on eBay for $400. It's a Magnolia Pearl Beige Floral Printed Dress Cottage Core Steampunk, and this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not sure if this is a stock photo or if this is a photo that they took modeling the item. Um, I would recommend that you do not use stock photos. A lot of people are getting in trouble for using stock photos. If you watch my Vero policy violation videos, Lots of brands are coming after people for using stock photos. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, take your own pictures, guys. Take your own pictures. It is definitely a problem that can get you in trouble. And certain companies are worse than other companies. Okay, we're going to do one more here. Finally sold my very last one of this flavor. It's been great three-year ride, a great three-year ride. I paid 25 cents and bought the whole stock from a liquidation store. This sold for $62.99. They were all in for $75.10. Keep your eyes open for great buys like this. I have simply made thousands from this purchase and still have a few other flavors. You guys, it's Tic Tac gum. One pack of Tic Tac gum sold for $62.99. For real? Yeah. Sugar-free, 170 pieces, discontinued, hard to find. So I guess there's people that collect Tic Tac gum. There's a buyer for everything, right? So anyway, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel sold this. If you're not following Noel on YouTube and on whatnot, definitely give her a follow. She sells the weird. Um, she will sell just about anything. And some of the things are things that you would walk right past because you're like, that's not going to sell. And she sells it. And more often than not, she sells it for big money. So check her out, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. And I will link her down below as also. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me an emoji of a hat. And go get you some Bolo Buddies earrings from my whatnot. But get the $15 with my referral link. That's free money, which equals free earrings if you want them. Thanks for watching. Uh-oh.